Nick Bradshaw's here. Uh, actually, Nick, uh, you spent a good deal of uh, your youth here. Well, my college years, actually. I yeah. studied at Algonquin College here. I took the animation program, and then they had the animation studios here, so it benefited you where you could get your education, then jump into the studio system yeah. and, you know, learn... Learn you, that way. You uh, are currently uh, uh, drawing me. Yep. Uh, Wolverine. Wolverine. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and other X-Men, right? Yep. Uh, but this, uh, long before you came to Algonquin, mm -hmm. you were into the comic world and drawing and, and that sort of thing, right? Yep. I've always drawn comics. It's something I've always wanted to do since I was a kid, and uh, it was something I was able to uh, break into about 10 years ago. Right. Uh, like we were talking via the internet, you know, I was able to expose some artwork online, and I was able to uh, generate some interest from some you know starting publishers yeah. And, yeah when we were talking earlier i you know I, you said now you're working uh, drawing uh, wolverine mm -hmm. and i saw the excitement in your face because oh yeah it's a big deal for you right and i'm working with one of the best writers in the industry right now jason aaron and uh, he just writes the funnest books which is what i like like i grew up on x-men books from the 70s where it still had those really fun storylines and uh, we have this great storyline where Wolverine is the principal of the school training this next generation of heroes. So it's great. We get to take these characters that we get to design and we get to give new powers to them and they're like so off the wall and they're right. on these really fun, crazy adventures. So things. you work in conjunction with writers, like when you're putting a, yep. a storyboard together, yep. you really have to work together to, to make that happen? Yeah, they write me a pretty, uh, pretty descriptive uh, script and it basically he'll give me an overview of what's going to be happening on a page. He breaks it down panel by panel and then with dialogue. And then we discuss back and forth the imagery that he wants to see right. in the picture. and how you want it to look, yep. right? Because drawing for comics is different than anything. Oh, and, well, we're all geeks, right? And that's one of the best things. <laughs> like, we get to sit there and we can geek out over something. Like, he'll say, I want you to draw this villain. I'm like, cool, can I do this with this character? And he'll right. be like, yeah, you know. And then we just geek out over the phone and well, before you know it, two hours ago. Listen, gone. geeking out is cool. That's, I mean, that's it's what I mean. Everybody's doing right it. Now. Yeah, and it's a blast. Um, you know, you got a nice contract to do this, uh, to, to yep. do Wolverine and that sort of thing. I know you're thrilled about that. Take me back to how, how people can get into this. Because, uh, you know, you're still a relatively young guy. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's lots of people who are uh, into comics and, and, and uh, drawing and, yep. and that sort of thing. But I, I, often, I often look at guys like you and I go, how in heck does he end up drawing Wolverine? Like, how, does, how do you get into a career like this? Well... Basically, you really have to get your study up. You really need to get your education in to uh, learn your life drawing, learn the basic skills, learn how to do layout. Once you have something like that, 15, 20 years ago, before the advent of the internet exploded, you used to have to go to conventions. You had to meet the editors at conventions, or you had to mail into the studios. And after the internet, there were art forums where professionals were posting, and you got to meet, and you know, you could join that community of professionals, and your artwork could get seen. You could have a, you can put a blog up now and get your artwork seen online. Yeah. Like I'm from Moncton, New Brunswick. I know. That's and working for studios in California and New York, you know. That's funny. Yeah. But it can happen. It can right? happen. It can happen. That's the thing. It doesn't matter where you're from. Yeah. If you have the talent and drive to do this. Well, that's it. Like, I pencil my pages out of Moncton. They get shipped to a guy in California who inks them. Then they get shipped to a girl in Atlanta who colors them. Then it's all shipped back to New York to get all the lettering and the finishing. So you still live in Moncton? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now I can live back in Moncton. It's great to be... I'm a maritimer. I, I wanted to oh, move no, back. Oh, you're a good maritimer. Yep. That's, that's exciting to see, uh, you know, but it does uh, tell people that you can open up the doors and, and walk through them yep. and, and, uh, and get a career and come down this weekend and meet guys like you and other people here. Well, that's it. You know, uh, who uh, uh, the networking angle is in person or on the internet That, works. and I mean, like, the other thing, too, is comic artists are like vampires. Like, you can see none of us ever have a tan. You're going to film a lot of them. And the reason is is because we're holed up in our <laughs> homes, you know? Like, you're working deadlines all the time. So yeah. you get to come to these conventions to meet the people who buy your books yeah. and support you. Yeah. And that's why these are a lot of fun, too. Yeah, and the like guys these? in the costumes. Yeah, well, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You like the, the comic cons? I love comic conventions. I don't do many of them yeah. because I'm always busy working. But right. when I do get out for me it's like it's a relaxing weekend off and I really enjoy doing it so well it's a bit of pleasure talking to you pleasure talking to you Nick, too uh, uh, good luck to you along the way we'll be looking for your comics thank you very much